Hey, hello. <laughs> Look what happened at uh, not the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, where it's always five o'clock. But Ty, the spilly bitch, <laughs> smashed it. Finally, not me. Oh, yep. it hurt. It hurt. Mm -hmm. I, I, it was in the car, packed in. I moved it to the seat. I'm like, okay, this way I can get this. I won't worry about it. I pulled one bag, another bag hit it. It fell. I watched in slow motion, and I heard clunk, clunk, crap. That was the result. However, you'll notice the shape of the bottle. Not all of it came out because it landed slightly on its side. So I was able to salvage it that much. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I won't lie, I already had a little sip. Yep. That's pretty good. I did not. And so. since we're not sponsored by any water companies, we ripped the label off the water bottle. Yeah, that's, that's right. Real talk. <laughs> so. Now, some people wouldn't recommend this at home because of the possibility of glass shards. But uh, this is the Whiskey Heathens. So. Uh, we don't care so much, so we're going to give it a go. You got to die of something. We can't all go in cars. That's right! Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. It smells like young corn. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is supposed to be a mix of uh, rye and wheat. They were uh, matured separately and then blended. Rye and wheat. Rye and wheat. Interesting. I said corn like an idiot. <laughs> Do you know the mash bill? I do not, and it does not state it on the bottle, and mm. I didn't notice it on the website, but I really didn't look that hard either. 40% Saskatchewan's first micro distillery. Oh yeah, we should probably mention what it is. Yeah. It's Last Mountain from Lumsden, Saskatchewan. Not available in Alberta. So this smells incredibly youthful. Mm. Um, not bad. We've had some youthful whiskeys here that were straight up bad. Oh yeah, yeah well, we, one for sure. Well, one absolutely, <laughs> right? um, And you can check out that video wherever the f Ty puts his links. Here or here. Mm. Could be up here. But click that link, check it out. It was yeah. bad. See what parts of Canada aren't doing this right. All right, let's, uh, let's get this let's in. Let's give it a go. Um, it's not like terrible. It. No. Yeah. It's not bad. It's very luscious. It's got that, that spiciness of the rye, that, uh, that smoothness of the wheat, that, that buttery, mm, creaminess. Mm. Weetabix. Weetabix cereal. Remember the big blocks, put milk on it, put in the microwave? Mm. Mm. Um, I like that. <clears throat> that 40% really tones down what these young grains can do. You got uh, high ABV with, with real young grains like this, and it could be vastly overpowering sometimes, right? Oh yeah. Um, this one, the youthfulness pairs really well with the, um, uh, with the ABV, low ABV. This, you know, isn't, this isn't terrible. My problem I, I, is... I was expecting it not to be that good just because oh. of the stereotype that goes with it, and I'm guilty of it as well, but um, this, is, this is not too bad. It tastes like sadness for the simple fact that that's all I have now. Yeah, I could drink this again. Yeah. Yeah. Not a problem. I enjoy it. Uh, out at a campfire or something. Not that this is peated, but that buttery feel, man, would be really nice. Sitting around. Buttery feel. Mm, buttery. It's got that buttery feel. Yeah. Like you're sitting around a campfire. Mm. Would be nice. Buttery smoke. <laughs> There's no smoke in this. Like, I can't stress that enough. No. But it's, it's just... It's buttery, man. After you put that in my head, now I'm like, butter. Butter, butter, butter. I would like to sit in the sun, in the grass, a little campfire, roasting some bologna. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's life for me. This is, this is decent. Young, vibrant, decent. Well, I look forward to trying more of their products. So, mm -hmm. me too. Cheers to you, Last Mountain. Mm. Cheers, Cheers to y'all. Cheers Boom. to you, heathens.